What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Pokemon TCG Show over here on Midnight Media TV. As always, I am your host, Concept of God. You can follow me on Twitch. You can follow me on TikTok. You can follow me on Instagram, all under the name Concept of God. Um, I do Pokemon on TikTok. I do video games on Twitch. I do, like, drum videos and a lot of my personal life on Instagram. So, yeah, if you want to come hang out, if you want to see a little bit more of me and a little bit more of what I like to do, uh, then, yeah, come stop by and say hey. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, I think today we're going to jump into a little bit more of Chilling Rain, but we're going to do a couple of announcements for the channel. Um, first, a uh, couple minor announcements. We're going to start doing a little bit more uh, variety for the con content that we're uh, going to be uploading on the channel. The kind of content we want um, is, is, I think, finally achievable. We're getting a little bit more time to do it. Um, I don't know how steady it'll be at first, but you might see some stuff that pops up that's not Pokemon or that's not film reviews. We are also going to do more film reviews. Um, so if you see that, just give it a shot, see what you guys think. This is just going to be a little bit more of variety for the channel in general. Um, we really appreciate the love that everyone's given us just for doing the Pokemon stuff, because I made this channel quite a few years ago, and, you know, we were doing mainly movie reviews and, you know, little things here and there, some, you know, fun little videos with some other uh, YouTubers at the time and stuff that were starting, and, uh, you know, we built a little bit of relationships that way, but it was a very slow roll, um, very particular, uh, so the Pokemon community has been a lot more, um, you know, uh, welcoming with open arms, and it's been really cool to see, but at the same time, that comes with the price, because <laughs> I started collecting maybe six months before the everyone else started you know really picking everything up off the shelves and uh, going ham with it but it's been a cool journey for at least with the Pokemon so um, we're going to continue to open Pokemon cards it's not going to stop so you're definitely going to see that here but um, you know like we were trying to do a lot more of that we were trying to do the giveaways we were trying to do everything else so we're still going to do those things I think that the very next uh, Pokemon video we're going to do we're going to talk about our giveaway uh, for the next uh, part of the I guess summer uh, it's hopefully going to go until uh, between August and the beginning of August and end of August. That'll hopefully be the next giveaway. Um, and we're just trying to get some goodies together that we can actually like feel good about giving somebody some some fun stuff and some some stuff that makes it actually worth their while. So uh, yeah, we're we're just kind of you know regrouping, doing that kind of thing. And um, yeah, but uh, today, like I said, we're gonna do a little bit of chill and rain. Um, still searching for the Snorlax. Still searching for any any all arc. Uh, cards pretty much any of the v's i think we have blissey v alt uh, that's that's the only alt we have right now i don't think we have any secret rares um for chilling rain so just kind of going through chilling rain and uh chilling rain actually i i at first i was kind of iffy about it because the card selection on sets like this is really strange um it's not exactly the pokemon i think a lot of people are super familiar with it's not a lot of pokemon people are like rushing out to grab other than maybe snorlax but it's still a set that in my opinion has really cool artwork and it definitely has some cards that you wouldn't think would be as big of chase cards as they kind of are at the moment but like I'm a big fan of the alt art I think the alt art cards are a really cool step just having different variations of V cards like that's just cool in general not just a full art but Ooh, hollow greedent let's go Mr. Greedent oh we'll sleeve you up in a minute I think I have you though maybe I won't sleeve you Maybe I'll leave you and I won't leave you. Alright, so I think we got 12 packs here. Let's see what we can do. And uh, I think we, we did a booster box of Chilling Rain, and like I said, we didn't get any gold. We didn't get any. Uh, I think we got two V Maxes that were about the same exact, the Shadow Rider uh, Calyrex, but I mean, I, and don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. And the Alt Art uh, Blissey, which I thought was probably the best hit of the box. But Chilling Range has been a very weird set, I think, for everybody. It's been up and down, because Battle Styles was rough, <laughs> to say the least. And you're coming out of, like, the Charizard explosion that they had between Champion's Path and Shining Fate, so it's like... I mean, really, what can you do? Oh, I always like a Reverse Hollow Energy. That's a cool one. And a Zeb Striker. Alright. Two packs down. And these all came from three pack blisters. I did not. I'm a big fan of uh, kind of mixing them up. That way I don't see the pull rate per package. If I can get this one open, Jesus. Um, oh gosh. I'm not a big fan of of trying to guess, you know, because you can always get a bad package. But for me, it's like you might get a package with two, you might get a package with one. I just want to see the overall hits. Um, especially because I also got all EV promo cards. So I'm hoping they just grabbed them straight out of a box. Four straight out of there and just took them right out. Because I did buy these online. 
but <laughs> hopefully that's what they did. We'll see. Unless they took the first first one out of each individual box, wouldn't that be the worst? I get some continuous focus. Thank you. On that Lapas. There we go. Come on, dearling. Galarian Slowpoke, another dearling. That's what I just said. Come on, dearling. In a Sarina. So that's the thing, the reason I like to do that though is, uh, you know, you, you get a couple packs back to back that might not have anything. And uh, you never know, you might be able to end all of the last pack magic. Maybe you happen to just put all the good cards down at the bottom. Who knows? We should at least get something though, at least a, a V or two. If not, maybe a V Max, that'd be tight. But again, the chase is the Snorlax. And if you guys can, please like, share, subscribe to the video. Um, you know, those are the things that, that honestly help the channel more than anything. A trim and an Aggron. Actually, I like Aggron. He's a tough looking, looking dude. Um, but it helps the channel grow. Uh, I know I haven't been as consistent or as high quality with the content I'd like to, as I'd normally like to be. I was trying to keep anything on the channel so the channel doesn't go six months without content since I'm just so busy. I think that's why I said I'll be uploading other content because I do create other content for a lot of other mediums. I work a day job and I do video stuff for like individual companies so sometimes I get some projects in there that I'd love to promote on this channel so I'm just gonna start doing it. I don't know why I was debating it for so long. I guess I was hoping I could just do more Pokemon. Expedition Uniform! Ooh! Oh man, what a gorgeous card! Full Art Galarian Rapidash, let's go! Oh my goodness, oh. Oh wow. Now oh, that's a beauty. Look at that card, that's awesome. That's <laughs> sick. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't a hundred percent sure if we would pull anything that good, but all right, got a full art out of it. It's a gorgeous card. Let's go. Oh, I can pop this bad boy. What's making it harder on Pokemon too is the the price of everything is going up because of scarcity makes it real rough. Steel Energy, Expedition Uniform, not sure. Flappy, one of the most underrated cuteness Pokemon alive. Um, actually, I'm going to turn the camera a little bit because I think it's this light that's kind of the focus. Maybe. Yeah, let's get him a little light out here. Scorbunny, Shupit, Kabu, Kabu. Quillfish, Clarion Mask. Ooh, we got a gold welcoming lantern. Wow, back to back bangers. It's not quite the Snorlax, but it is a gold card nonetheless. Very, very nice. It's a single strike welcome lantern. Alright, so maybe we're getting bangers now. It's a possibility. <laughs> I would, I would have to say. Let's do it. All right, Chilling Rain. See, this is why I like to mix them up. You just never quite know if there's something sitting in there where you're like, okay, let's go. What's nice is this is out of just 12 packs. This really isn't too bad. Problem is these 12 pack things are like 15 bucks each now. So yeah, it was like 60 bucks for these 12 packs. But, what can you do? Larip. Rock rough. Can we make it a, a three hitter? We got the Frost Lass. Let's get a three hitter quitter right here. Let's do it. Y'all ready for this? Tell me what we get. Oh, Galarian Weezing. Dang. <laughs> I was feeling it. I was like, come on. Let's get, let's get three in a row. Let's get a VMAX or something to really set it off. Nice. I'm interested to see, and I know um, 
I, I put the prices in all my videos of the big hits that we get. I do that specifically just because I think it's always cool, especially as a time capsule, to see what the chase cards were going for. Um, but it is not in... in any way shape or form the only reason i care about the tcg i'm a big collector myself i actually don't i don't think i've ever sold any of my pokemon stuff um i mean with the exception of maybe like to a couple friends that i know personally i mean not to say i never will but there's a lot of cards i like to keep not only because of the value but because of the rarity and because just how scarce they are so i appreciate the cards just throwing that out there for anybody who likes to watch these and thinks everybody that's a new collector is just a just seeking the money. Okay. All right, Metagross V. All right, so we we have got three hitters now. So that's on average we've got three. So if we get one more, that's one per box or one per one per three pack. So far, not a bad ratio. Especially with a full art and a gold card in there. Very surprised. What's weird is it's always the sets that I'm like not that big on. Like Rebel Clash where I got two of the, the gold Frozmoths. I'm like I'm cool with the Frozmoth and like certain gold cards. But like it's never the ones I want. <laughs> never when it's like the, the Snorlax or the uh, Charizard. I thought I won't want too many cards there. Alright, Steel Energy. Melanie. Whirlipede. Let's go. Cybold. Let's go. Snova. These, the art on these is nice though. I will say that. It just really pops. Very distinct. You can tell whoever the artists were on these definitely put some time into the cards. Into the art. Into the concept behind each picture. Cybold. Ooh! And we got a full art brawly. I think that is our first full art uh, trainer card. Wow. Let's give, our, give ourselves an Owen Wilson moment. Wow. All right, so now that's it. That's one per three pack on, move them over now. Uh, on average, which is pretty dang good. Definitely, I'll take all of that. So far, this has been <laughs> one of the best variety of hits I think we've had. This is only a third of a booster box. That's the bad part. The real booster box had none of this. I mean, it had a lot of Vs and hollows, but I got one hollow so far, and everything else has been full art, gold, or V cards at least. Man, gotta love it. Got to love it. And I'm hoping we can get one more in here. Path to the Peak, Lady On, Schnazel, Galarian Farfetched with his leak. Perfro, Venipede, Sveal. We do stay in the Sveals. Shup it. And a Beedrill. They finally did Beedrill right with a hollow card. No Beedrills. Beedrill. He's cool though, so that might be that might be the hit killer right there. That might be the one that shuts us down for a VMAX or anything else, but because it is technically a hit. But it is a bee drill. Alright, two packs left. What can we do? Let's go psychic energy. Expedition uniform. Old symmetry. Raboot. Inke. Diglett. Got a scorbunny. Ship it. We do like Cub Fu, nice Volcarona, and a Galarian Surfetched. The secondary art. I do like the art. That's the one th good thing about this set. Alright, last pack magic. Can we do it? Let's go. Let's go here, Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, maybe get a legendary bird out of it. That'd be. Glued to the Dickens. Code skis. Alrighty. Here we are. Porygon to Raboot. 
scroll of the skies, rapid trick. Rots. Vinipede. Sounds sweet. Oh, so cute. Lapras. I actually like this Lapras card. So nice card. Blitzel. Reverse Hollow is a Galarian Yamask. And we got ourselves just a Hollow Guard of War to end it off on. So actually, we did get two Hollows in the last three packs, but it's obviously not what we care about. We care about these bad boys that we scored. So we got ourselves a Brawly, which I think this is actually a really nice card. That's that's awesome. I prefer cards like this actually to not be Rainbow too, because I think they're just way cooler looking. <laughs> just the artwork in general is just insane. The Galarian Rapidash V, incredible. Welcoming Lantern. It's a gold card. <laughs> I don't complain when there's a gold card. And a Metagross V. So, decent hits. I will say that out of 12 packs of Chilling Rain right there. And, and like I said, we got about three hollows as well. So, I mean, technically we hit on more than half of the packs. Technically. So I think that's pretty awesome. And, and on the fact that we actually got more, you know, V and full art cards than we did regular hollows is a big, big win. So thank you guys oops, so much for stopping by. Wrong camera angle. Um, if you guys want, like I said, please, again, share, uh, tell everybody about the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, stop by for the next video, hopefully in the next week or two. Um, and we'll do some giveaways. We'll do some fun stuff uh, going into the rest of the summer. I just wanted to get through the 4th of July. Uh, also had some, some little injuries and some doctor stuff I had to take care of. And, yeah, just a lot of stuff going on. But uh, we're back to it. We're back to doing Pokemon. We're back to doing some fun stuff. And uh, thanks for stopping by again. Thanks for the support. And we'll see you guys next time on Midnight Media TV. Peace out.